Right, good morning everyone. Um, I'm going to do another plaque today. And I had this, this is what I used last time. And it really does need mo um, using up. So I'm just going to get on with it. And sort it out. Uh, we've got these in. And you get two. So you'll get two of these for a pound. That's a good deal. So I'm going to see if I can use some of those in uh, mine, my plaque today. Now, I need... I wasn't sure what kind of a plaque to make. What shape? We do sell a chipboard in all different sizes. So I'm going to be using that. Plus, I'm also going to be using our trim. Now, it's back in. And I think... So what I've done is I've reduced uh, lots and lots of items. The handmade items are all reduced. The bib necklaces and things like that are almost half the price. Because they're just sat and I don't want them just sitting. I want somebody to have them and to own them and to look after them and to cherish them. And to pass on. So you'll find lots of items on the shop reduced. But you'll also find I've increased quantities. Uh, why not? I can do what I like. It's my shop. <laughs> So um, I've now increased this from two metres to three metres. And it's gorgeous. It makes really, really pretty flowers. So we're going to make some flowers today. We're going to do, um, I think we'll do this one. I'm also going to pad it. Now, bear with me. Now I've got some pieces here that will move, uh, using up, moving up, using up. So that'll do that, and what's left won't go to waste. And I'm going to double it. I don't think I can get one out of here. Yeah, sure we can do that. Glue gun's on. And we're going to see what we can create today. Now, regarding a picture, you don't always have to have a picture. And I like to do flowered ones, so you'll see what I mean. So what I'm going to do first is to attach this on here. And you just have to do enough glue to make it stick. Like that. Now hopefully I'm not too close to the uh, recorder on the voice part because um, I have to have it directly above me. For you to get this angle, it has to be directly above me. I bang my head now and again, but uh, I'm not fussed. If the results are good, that's all that matters. Right, and I think I can keep checking. Oops, now we don't need those scrappy bits, though they'll go for fillers. But we'll keep those. And let's have a look at this. We're going to do the same thing again. You only need to do it in four corners. And we're going to pop that on. Like that. And snip this again. I could have moved it up a bit really. Just that's... Uh, but you can do that. Don't waste anything. That will stick down. And none of that will go to waste. All go to filling. So we've got a nice thick cushion. And what I'm going to do, I had that one or this one. Um, do you know, I might use that one actually. Yeah, why not? Now we do sell fabrics. This is the size they come in, the, the fat quarters. See, so you get a nice big piece. Now, I need to leave at least um, 
at least, yeah, at least an inch either side. Let's turn that around. it and we will put a backing on it as well okay so we're gonna first of all glue this side now you can do it a good half inch away from the edge you need to pull it over really quick and push it push it inward so you, it's tight see like that now do the opposite end like that pull that over because you don't really want anything left pull it tight because you want a nice flat surface on the other side because it had creases in it originally from the fold then we need to pull that in now what do we want to do with the sides uh, with the corners well we can do a a blanket fold like that which is nice and neat and it'll be fine. Sorry about that. It's the neighbours. When they go out, the dogs go. <laughs> well, at least they're keeping their eye on everything. So we just fold that in like that. And then we're going to fold that over. And we put a, a dot of glue on there. And it holds that nice and neat. And then all we have to do there is to make sure we pull that tight across like that. See, nice and neat. So we're going to do the same with this side again. And we just pull that over in the corner. Like that. Pull that over there. Really, I don't fuss too much about things like this when it's going to be covered up from the back. That'll do for me. That's fine. We're going to put an edge on it and that. Oh, that's really nice. Nice cushion. Yeah. And like I say, we will cover that. Shortly. I need to put a hanger on it as well. So I'm just going to look at the trims I've got. And I've got some more bits and pieces here. Now, I've got... And what I'm doing is using up what I've got here at the side of me. So, I've got some of this as a hanger. That's fine by me. It's piping and we sell this in the shop. We have it in lots of colours. So, I'm going to put this on first. And I think we'll use this end. Pop that on. I don't think we need too much of a hanger. That will do. I have more to use for another day. I did show you the units at the side of me. They're uh, vegetable baskets and they stack. But... Um, I, they're brilliant. They just house everything I need that I use throughout the day, every day. And uh, it's brill because they're right there by me. I don't have to keep getting up and going around looking for things. Right, so that's that one. That's a decent hanger. Look, that's fine, isn't it? And then you're going to say, but Fee, why did you do that when you didn't put the uh, lace on? Well, I'm going to tell you, I've no idea. <laughs> I haven't any idea. Oh, who cares? Who knows? Let me just have a look, because we want it really shabby. Oh, and I love that. Look at that. That's just pretty, isn't it? And we can see what's underneath. 
so we do sell this as well this is in the shop and like i say everything's been reduced or increased in quantity so it's the best time at the moment to buy if you want right okay so i'm just going to do that i am going to cover this and i'll cut it later i'm just going to dob this i don't want that on the um do that now oh that's nice I'll cut that off don't worry about it let me just need to have a clear desk so now we've put that side on and we're just going to trim that off like I say I'm going to be putting a backing on it so it won't matter as long as it's help, um, holding okay so I'm just going to Do the same on this side. Now you notice I push it down and then do that. The reason is it keeps that taut. And we're not going to make a mistake. I'm not fussed about them bits. They're going to be covered up. Pull this back. I've got glue on my fingers. I can't feel my finger ends. <laughs> Right, so I really don't need that much on. I'm just going to do that. Like that. Push that over. This way I can just clip that. fine and then we can just do the same with this bring that over and do that Oh, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Yes, I like that. And now what we can do is we can attach the uh, cream. Now I'm using, let's have a look, this cream <coughs> for the edging. Let's put that there, out of the way. Now, I tell you all the time, when you're going round an edge, don't just go like that and then do that because this will pucker ease it in and you do probably three little tucks like that and then it'll lay flat so i'm just going to start like that at the bottom and then i will show you what i mean oh, glue 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 When I get to the edge, to the corner, so here we are at the corner, and you need to make sure you've got plenty of glue because you've got to pinch it together. So we'll go one, two, three, three little pinches, and that lays that flat, and then you can just carry on.
on the edge. Like that. Again to the corner. And we'll go one, one on the corner and one next to it. Like that. See? And it lays flat. Right. So that's going to be fine. Now I've just noticed there's a gap there. See here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off, cut it, cut that out and then reapply it. And slightly overlap it. It won't matter, won't make any difference. I'm not fussed about it. Like that. Again, we come to the corner. And one, one on the corner and one next to it. Like that. There we go. And we're just going to do the same thing regarding this corner. Pinch once, pinch twice, pinch three times, snip and just glue that bit down. And just to make sure this end is uh, glued in, we just glue that in there. Just glue it down and then you can put a dobber glue just on there and join those two. There, see? And that lays perfectly flat. Now, quite beautiful, that isn't it? And these things are so easy to do. So, I'm just going to put this back so I uh, always keep one of these at the side of me. Uh, so what next? So let's have a look. Well, we're going to need some, I'm, I might put like a band across here. So we could put that on there, that on there. I need a band to go across it. I'm not going to use that one. Uh, and I might just, I don't know, let's find a picture of some sort maybe. I'm going to use that one, but I also need to... Let me just move that off and that. I need to frame that. And so what I'm going to do... I might use this and just do... Should I? And then I could do the flower out of that as well, couldn't I? So we could have that there and an array of flowers here. Uh, let's see. Okay. I need my large needle. We do sell these. I've now added these. And where you got one for a pound, I'm now doing two for a pound. So, you know, it's up to you. They're there for you to uh, use in your crafts like I do. If you suffer with bad hands, it's perfect for you. Perfect. I bought a bulk in the other uh, other week when uh, people were asking for them. I managed to get a good deal, so I thought, right, well, we'll uh, we can do two. We can do two. Well, for those of you who don't know, 
here in Lead, we are on lockdown again. We're not allowed to talk to our uh, neighbours. We're not, I mean, they can naff off because I'm not going to stop talking to my neighbours. For God's sake, it's getting bloody ridiculous. But yeah, we've been told we're not allowed to talk to our neighbours. We can't mix with our family and friends. Um, it's just isolate yourself in your own home. They'd rather you not be outside, to be honest. Uh, but they can get lost. It, it has, a mandate is not the law. It isn't. A mandate is not the law. So it can't be forced. Not sure how many know that. But this not talking to your neighbours and staying away from everybody is complete and utter nonsense. I'm sorry. It is. As long as you do the right steps, taking the, you know, distance you're supposed to have, wear the mask when needed. It's done all right in the last few months, doing it like that. The cases went down. But what makes me laugh is how do they know we're going to get a second wave? They told us that on when the first one started. There'll be a second wave. How do they know? It doesn't make sense unless they already knew up front. But yeah. Now I'm looking at all our bloody um, bin men now. Not one of them's got a mask on. And they're together. Near each other. Just doesn't make sense. I kind of like want, um, you know, a good frill like that. That's going to be enough. So I'm just going to cast that off here. Um, our trip to Scotland is off, which I'm not happy about. I think Boris Johnson and that Hancock, oh, they're just stupid. Stupid, stupid people. The economy's got to get back. It must get back. People need to go back to work. As long as you're taking the right measurements for safety, there's nothing wrong in going back to work. I don't understand what they're doing. I really don't. And I'm sorry, but... Um... They're ruining people, ruining lives. You know what they want, don't you? They want the businesses to go out of uh, business, basically, and then they will snap them up at cheap prices and they'll own everything again, more and more. And if people haven't got that by now, then um, I don't know what else to... how else we can get it through to people. There. I actually do like that. So, now what I'm going to do is to... Pop that, and I think we'll have it here. It's gone on it, and it can't go anywhere else because I've done it. <laughs> now, we do have some new um, beaded trim. Let me just see if I've got any. Uh... Again, start at the bottom. 
and I'm putting it on two, halfway on and halfway off. A darker one that stands out. That's it, we only need a couple of those. Yeah, so like I say, go and grab some bargains because I know I have customers that will uh, snap them up. Yeah, like that. Pink and beige, pink, beige, and cream. So I'm going to start with some of these. Like I say, we've got you get two full ones like that uh, for a pound which is a good deal very good actually now I just need to cut them off there so I need them there but I need to get some flowers together just to do a nice floral display but we do need one flower oh do you know what I've got I've got these. Now, I've just reduced these. These have all been reduced as well. And I mean, they're all handmade, but they have all been reduced. So I've reduced them down. You get 20, a pack of 20 or you get individual ones. So I'm going to use this. To start with. Right there. Uh, I'm going to add, oh look at that, that's gorgeous. I just want a good selection of flowers. Just shove them in like that. That's it. Isn't that pretty? And I think what we can have here is a... Um, have a look, see what we've got. Yes. Let me just see if we've got one that's all pink. This one, I think. Because I love this. This one. I'm just going to pop. This beautiful crystal diamante flower pin there. And we sell all of that. All of it. 
What a lovely plaque. And basically, you're just using up your odds and sods. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care. And this will be in the shop shortly. Bye-bye for now.